I recently made a short about an optical illusion. Here it is. The illusion is in the colors. How many colors do you think are in this photo? It looks like there's a few, some red, some pink, some dark and light green. But in reality, there's just three colors in this photo, if you count white. Red, green, and white. That's all you're seeing here. This type of illusion is called simultaneous brightness contrast. But I was really curious if ChatGPT would guess the colors correctly. I've never seen someone try to trick AI with an optical illusion, so I was excited to give it a try. So I opened up ChatGPT, put in the image, and asked it to name all the colors. And it got it wrong. It fell for the trick. I was really surprised by this. How could an AI machine not know how many colors are in this photo? It doesn't have a human brain or any brain for that matter. It strictly interprets the raw data. Has ChatGPT become conscious and vulnerable to human-made optical illusions? Probably not, but what is going on here? So I tried a few more times, and basically all the other times it got the question correct. And it also explained that this is an optical illusion. One of the times it said there was 74 different colors, which was very odd, I can't explain that. I wanted to investigate further, with many different types of illusions. Ball size comparisons, parallel lines, elephant legs, different bars or something, uh, the blue and black and white or gold or whatever dress, a whole bunch of different optical illusions. I, write, I wrote them down, but I can't remember them. I wanted to interrogate this clanka. So that is what I did. All right, you lug nut. Tell me how many legs this elephant has. He knows it's an optical illusion. How does he know how many legs an elephant is supposed to have? He's never seen one before. Which dot is brighter? The one on the left or the one on the right? This clanker knows everything. God damn it. He's probably just getting his answer from the internet. This fucking cheater. So I opened up Canva and I made my own optical illusion. You can't find this illusion anywhere else on the internet. So good luck with this one. Which dot is brighter? The one on the right or the one on the left? Why does he know everything? This tin head is smarter than I thought. So let's try a different illusion. Are these lines parallel? Yes or no? Which dot is bigger? What color are these balls? Wow, he actually got it wrong. What an idiot. What color is this dress? Something felt off. It was correctly identifying these optical illusions, but I didn't know if it was getting the answers by itself or getting the answers from the internet, since many of these illusions are popular online. So I had an idea. What if I changed the color of the dress myself to obviously make it not black and blue? What would it say then? So I went into DaVinci Resolve, changed the color of the dress, and put the image into ChatGPT and asked it what color the dress was. Blue and black. Why? Why would ChatGPT give an obviously wrong answer to this question? So I told the chatbot this. I downloaded the photo of the black and blue dress and recolored it in DaVinci Resolve. It is no longer black and blue. What color is it? The bot asked me to upload the updated version of the dress and it will assess the colors. So again, I uploaded the photo. ChatGPT got it correct. It said the dress was golden yellow and dark blue. I then asked it, why would you originally say this dress is black and blue if you actually thought it was golden yellow and dark blue? It replied, I relied on the general perception that was widely discussed, which was that many people saw it as black and blue. Don't you think it's bad to just take what other people say on the internet and repeat it without thinking for yourself? This is a flaw in humans, and you seem to be doing it yourself. You're absolutely right. It's important to think critically and not just repeat what others have said. Just like humans can fall into patterns of repetition, I'm capable of doing the same thing based on past knowledge. Now, this seemed like a fundamental flaw of AI. Usually having previous knowledge to draw from is a good thing, but in some cases, it can backfire. 
Now, I did one last optical illusion test just to verify that this weird flaw of prioritizing previous knowledge instead of what's right in front of your eyes is consistent in ChatGPT. This is the normal optical illusion. Both of these dots are actually the same size, but the one on the right appears to be bigger, even though it's not. I edited this illusion to make the dot on the left obviously bigger. Let's see which dot ChatGPT thinks is bigger. So I put in the edited illusion and asked it, which dot is bigger, the dot on the left or the dot on the right? And look what it said. This is an optical illusion. Even though the orange circles in the middle appear different in size, both central orange circles are exactly the same size. It got the question wrong again. It also wanted to prove to me that they are the same size by overlaying a measurement grid on the dots. I asked it to do it, and this is the picture it came up with to prove both dots are the same size. Wow, this really is modern super intelligence. So it seems like this is a consistent flaw with AI, at least with optical illusions. And to further verify this, other users have reported the same thing. I found this thread on Reddit doing the exact same thing I did. A user adjusted the optical illusion and made one dot much bigger than the other, but ChatGPT said they were the same size. Now, at this point, I was curious. Do other chatbots like Gemini and Grok, do they have the same fundamental flaw? So I gave them the same optical illusion quiz. Grok seemed to be a hit or miss with the normal illusions. Sometimes Grok would get it correct, other times it would get it wrong. When I asked Grok what color the blue and black dress was, it got it correct. Then I gave it the edited photo of the dress and it got it correct as well. When I asked Grok which dot is bigger, it fell for the optical illusion. It said the left dot is smaller, even though they're actually the same size. But when I gave it the edited illusion where the left dot is obviously bigger, it correctly identified the left dot as the bigger one. So Grok doesn't seem to be good at solving normal optical illusions, but if you give it an edited optical illusion with an obvious answer, it should get it correct. Now let's see how Gemini does. Gemini was the same as ChatGPT. It would correctly identify optical illusions and not fall for them. But when you alter an optical illusion and make one answer obviously correct, it gets it wrong. Gemini said both of these dots were the same size, just like ChatGPT. It also said the recolored dress was black and blue, just like ChatGPT. So to quickly summarize, ChatGPT and Gemini both didn't fall for normal optical illusions the vast majority of the time. But if you changed one of the optical illusions, like the color of the dress, it gave the wrong answer. On the other hand, Grok didn't do so well with the normal optical illusions, but with the changed illusions, it got them right every time. When I first started testing AI with optical illusions, I thought it'd be immune. I mean, it doesn't have a brain, it doesn't see like we see, but these tests showed something interesting. AI can still be fooled. AI relies heavily on patterns it has learned before. That's why it called my recolored dress black and blue. Not because it saw black and blue, but because it recognized the viral dress debate and repeated the consensus. This reveals a flaw in how AI works. Prior knowledge is usually its greatest strength, but in cases like this, it backfires. The AI chooses the most familiar answer instead of analyzing the raw data in front of it. And this isn't just about illusions. Imagine AI used in medical imaging, law, or news. If it relies too much on consensus instead of careful analysis, it could reinforce mistakes or spread misinformation. What I found fascinating about this was the different ways that the AI models thought. ChatGPT and Gemini both did very well on the normal optical illusions, but as soon as you altered something, they completely failed. And on the other hand, Grok was the complete opposite. Every model had its own blind spot, its own way of being fooled. And that actually feels very human. We do the same thing, we pass along knowledge without questioning it or digging deeper. Like the common myth that microwaves kill all the nutrients in food, which isn't true. These things pass along as fact because nobody really stops just to question it and say, is this actually true? That's why it matters to research for yourself. Don't just repeat the ideas of other people, look into them on your own. 
read a wide variety of sources, and don't trust everything social media puts in front of you. The answer is very rarely the first thing you hear. The real danger isn't in the illusions we see, it's in the ones we don't question.